Hi and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't, hi, my name's Amanda. I'm actually a criminologist. I'm not a makeup artist at all, but um, I do this channel as part of my own self-care and um, wellness. So I often do unboxings, I do hauls, and today I'm actually, I'm completely makeup free and I'm about to do a get ready because then I actually have two boxes to unbox that I am very, very keen to do. And I thought, I haven't put my makeup on, I may as well do this video too. So hi and welcome. Let's see what I'm going to do. So um, the last couple of videos I've been doing have been um, new products I've bought and I want to try. So I thought I would grab a whole box. Um, excuse the box it's in, it's not actually that brand, but oh! <laughs> It's not an Amanda video without something dropping. But anyway, these are a whole sack of products that I've purchased that I have actually haven't tried yet. So um, I'm going to give them a go. There's a whole lot of different things here from Pat McGrath to um, the cheapest uh, drugstore products. So um, let's give it all a go. So my first product I'm going to try, and I know I look very, very pale today. I promise I'll I'll warm it in post. <laughs> but anyway, the first product I'm going to try is uh, the Tarte C um, water foundation. So um, I bought this just a couple of weeks ago. I bought the travel size to try. Um, my ride or die product is the face tape in 14H. They don't do 14H in this. So um, this is 15N, which they call fair light neutral. So we're going to try and start there. So give it a good shake first. A bit. Um, yes, I grabbed, I, it was fun just doing a bit of a shop just then, just to sort of see what um, I was keen to try. Okay, I'm sure there's some in here somewhere. Okay. Oh. Okay, so let's not even bother with the dripper, which means I have to put it down, which means it's going to go everywhere. Okay, come out a lot easier without the eyedropper. So I just, um, I do have a mirror here with me, which I've actually just covered in all the products that I bought with me today. Um, but I don't want the mirror to be on screen because it's actually from a brand that I don't want to support, but I just realized I come in here with everything and I forgot a mirror. So being lazy, I asked my daughter to bring with her um, a mirror and she has two. One is in the shape of a celestial body the other one is in the shape of a farmyard animal and neither of them I actually want to support so I'm not showing that on camera but um I think you can see this has actually gone on um it's really hard to see this camera is so so bright but I know that when it um transfers onto the editing project it's actually nowhere near that right but anyway this is actually a very light coverage it's not it's not um what I'm used to as I said I use face tape which is extremely high coverage um I use these brushes for my foundation as you see it's got a little bit in it I do wash these about every two weeks I have multiple so I don't have to do them all at once um but I do love them Mm. hasn't done the best of jobs but it will do um it's really yeah oh goodness when i oh, if you don't use the eyedropper it goes all over the place yeah that's not a good that's not a, a a good um way to get it out but anyway i've got a couple of drops now on my face um a little bit of concealer i've got a couple of dots that i need to sort of cover and my revoltingly, massively um, <laughs> uh, those things, bags. <laughs> so um, just hold this up here for a second. So um, I know I look very pale on the camera, but I can promise you that in reality, it's actually not that, but having just used a 15 instead of a 14, <laughs> I look so so weird on camera without my eye back but anyway I know it doesn't look like that I match but I promise you it does um for my powder I'm actually going to use the elf make me matte um I am assuming that this should keep me 
quite stable over the day. I am one of those people that um, I get shinier the, the more the day goes on. So I'm hoping that I can keep myself mattified all day. I, I didn't bring a big face brush. Yes, I did. I um, have some filming I think I need to do tonight. So I just need to make sure. Why would I do this on camera? It always looks like I use way too much. But then in reality, it's actually not that much. But anyway, I will be filming tonight. It is around, I have no idea what time it is. But I need to make sure that this sort of stays in place for some, some time to come. So I'm hoping that this does keep me matte and not shiny. I'm one of these people who can go from sitting down for several days to running around like an idiot for several more days. Um, okay. That's actually given my face a lot more depth. <laughs> I say when I look like I'm a ghost right now. Okay. Stay with me. I promise you it's going to, it's going to work. So uh, now I watch a lot of beauty channels, of course. And when I watch them do their faces, they always do their eyes, then they do their, their foundation, everything. I always do my foundation, then I do my eyes shadow on top. If I don't have a base on my eyes, it doesn't work. So we shall begin. Now I'm using a little Pat McGrath one. This was about $21. So it's just a little five pan. It's called Eye Ecstasy, Eye Ecstasy in Sublime. So it's just for me to try. I've never tried a... Um, a Pat McGrath palette before so this is my first time so I just want to see how it goes um, so to show you inside it's very much it's it's shiny but it's neutral so they're all quite glittery but um, I just thought I'd give them a go so just going to start with this brown just here is my transition even though it is shiny You know, when you have those days, you think, oh, I think this is not going to work. So far, this is going to be one of those days. And I know I can't be too long because I promised my daughter I would do these couple of videos really super quick. So then I can take her to grab some lunch. And then I had a phone call. Then I had some other bits and pieces to do. Yeah, it's not too bad. So I'm now actually going to go in. Oh, I didn't bring a right brush. I bought all my thicker brushes, but not my little brushes. That's okay. We will make this work. I'm going to use the same brush again. Just going to go in with a little bit darker just on the edges there, just to give it a little bit of a highlight. I actually tried to find, I know I've got a couple of palettes with this color in. I specifically bought some a few weeks ago and I cannot remember for the life of me which ones they were. So it's just going to have to be. I'm going to now go in with that center gold color and I'm just going to put that all over the lid. Oh, it's creamy to touch. Oh, I like that. Um, I've had blowout from the darker colour. Hmm. Not good, guys. Not good at all. Um. Just there's some copper here as well, just some rose gold. I'm just going to grab just a little bit of that for a little bit of um, transition from the gold to the dark. Yeah, this is going to be okay. It's not something I'm going to go, oh my God, I have to do this every single day. Um, but that's my first try with a Pat McGrath. And I know that people spend three and a half hours doing this. You will never see me spend that time. Um, I just, I'm not that girl. Now, and next products, I've got things I'm putting everywhere here. So I'm just trying to keep it all quite uh, subdued. I can probably put away the things I've already used. So um, my next product I'm going to use is Maybelline Brow Drama. So in JP, 
I have no idea. I did bring my glasses, but I think I put them down somewhere between my room and in here. So I am not, not quite sure what the shade is, but we have uh, the soft brown on, on the front will probably be a dead giveaway. So we shall try this one now. Now this one has a little tiny brush in it, God forbid. Um, and we've got a light for just under the eyebrow and then we have like the brow and we have a little bit of, we have two, two shades there. So grab this revolting mirror. Um, I'm just going to use my finger because actually I think I've got a good enough brush for this. I'm gonna use this on the brow line one just to give this eye a little bit of a boost, especially seeing that we didn't bring in any lighter shades to do in the corner. So we're just gonna use a little bit of this for now. There is a benefit eyebrow thing that I really want to try that I saw on another channel the other night. So now I'm going to go into sort of the, um, this is almost like a gel, that, that product there. So we're just going to use a bit of that just to see how it sort of puts everything together. Never do one strike on your eyebrows. Always make sure that you do little tiny, little tiny ones. Just follow the natural arch or lack thereof of your eyebrow. I'm lucky I do have um, arched eyebrows. The payoff on this is not really great. As I said, you know, you have those days where you think, yeah, none, none of this is going to work. Well, this is one of those days. The... um. Foundation, can you see how patchy that is? I am not wearing this makeup on camera tonight. I'm going to have to redo it. It is like really, it's like patchy. Look, I hope you guys can see what, what I'm seeing. It is really, really bad. So um, eyebrows, yep, that's okay. I have been searching for this one. This is a new one. It is by Masterpiece, I think it is, Max Factor. And it is a brown mascara. Do you know how hard it is to find a brown mascara these days? And I wanted one. And I kept looking at this and thinking it was like gold inside, but it's not. So the reason that I wanted brown I haven't done my bottom lashes shaded yet, which I should have done before I did this. But this is one of those days it isn't going to work. I may be able to save the eyes, but the forehead is dreadful. That is the patchiest foundation I've ever, ever seen. Um, come on, Tart, you do well otherwise. And what I should have done first was I actually grabbed a goldy bronze um, uh, from Colourpop to do the bottom of my eyelashes. Oh, wow. What do you think? Anyway, it's going to have to do. My next product that I have, I keep putting everything down, realizing that I need to get it all back out. Um, the next thing, I'm just gonna. That is so, so patchy. My daughter is gonna have a heart attack when she sees this. It is revolting. But anyway, 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 we are going to do something highly important. It's, ah, jelly highlighter so again we have a rose gold color this is called dew so um i've bought a couple of, of oh goodness <laughs> okay oh just just touched it and i got that so um Highlighter never seems to come out on camera, but it seems to be okay. But my God, that forehead. 
Okay, so that um, I barely touched that and got all of that amount out. So I'm likely to uh, never run out of that product, but it wasn't too bad. Now, the other thing I have is a putty blush and I'm using the same finger over and over again. And I know, uh, but this isn't jelly. This is um, putty. So it should be a little bit hot. Now I put this on in a unboxing video the other night and I look like a clown. So let's see if we can tone that down just a little. As you can see, it gives me, it gives me a little bit of a line when I do do my cheeks, purely because I have such a round face, I don't really have much of a choice. Um, next, we are going to do, I'm just trying to think if there's anything drastic I've missed. No, I think I've got, I've got another little highlighter here I was going to try. So this is from Floss. This is in Sunbeam. Just another little one. I just thought I'd give it a go. I didn't realise I grabbed two highlighters, so I may as well give them a go. much of a muchness really. Um, so last but not least is our lips. And I have a Poudier, Poudier, I have no idea, um, lip pencil, or I have used this one before, I didn't think I had, and my lipstick. So then we just give it a little bit of a spray and we are done. My old dog's starting to rumble around a bit. She may need to go out. So this is Tea Time from Colourpop. I just got this just like one day ago. Lips are okay. Oh, that's beautiful. So... That's my face. Uh, some of those products were okay. I wasn't um, excited by the Pat McGrath. Uh, the foundation was horrible, absolutely horrible. That will be something that I will chuck into the bottom of a bag somewhere that I will never use for the rest of my life. Um, we're just gonna finish off with some Mac Fix Plus um, in Calm, purely because that was the one at the front. I usually use other one, I have about 400. Um, fix pluses and other brands as well, but I do like them. So. <laughs> there we go. That one squirted right on this side of my face, as you can see, but I'm um, sure be okay. Oh, now, the other day I did this because I, I think it was the same spray. And when I did this with um, one of my brushes like this, it actually put these great big black splodges all over my face. And I have no idea why or how, um, but it was actually quite terrifying. And I had to go, I was just about to walk out at the door. I was running a little bit late. I thought, oh, just quickly sort of powder down my face. Because I think that same brush had done the same thing. Oh, no, that foundation did not settle at all. But anyway. Um, but I ended up with these great, I went blop, 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 and had all these big black spots. I have no idea why. So um, it was really, really odd. So I had to go and redo my face completely after that. But I was able to save most of it except for <laughs> my skin. But anyway, guys, this is my get ready. Just me putting on a face of products I haven't tried before. Some hits, some misses. I think my favorite thing was the, what would I say? Um, I think it was definitely the, the ColourPop lipstick. So I have bought a whole stack of those. You can watch my video of all the ones I bought. They had a two for one deal. So I bought a whole stack of them. And I think that is definitely my favorite. This was in tea time, which is quite lovely. Uh, the eyebrow thing wasn't too bad. The mascara was quite nice. The eye, the eyeshadow, hmm. Um, I wouldn't pay $105 if her other, other products are the same. It was just sort of a bit of a muchness and um, there was blowout from it. So I know I wasn't quite using the right brushes, but I've 
done it with worse and it's not blown out like that. But anyway, that's my face. I'm about to do two videos. One of them I'm super keen to do. I might do that one first, then I might have lunch and then I might do the second one. But um, it's this is where I am. Um, I hope that you stay with me until now. I hope that you will uh, press subscribe. I hope you'll like this video that's just here or hopefully you've all already seen it, but who knows. Um, and don't forget that you can't give to others unless you give to yourself first. Don't forget your, don't forget your self care and don't forget that you are important and we need you in this world. So until next time, bye.